Good evening. I'd like to call to order the uh, regular meeting of the Perry Carnegie Library Board. It is April 16th at 6.46 p.m. Uh, roll call, please. Colburn. Gilbert. Here. Franklin. Here. Hicks. Here. Pickern. Here. Seabolt. Here. Morrill. Here. Stroller. Here. Johnson. Here. Uh, item number one on the agenda tonight is the election of a library board president. Uh, Brad Marshall was our president for several years and he has resigned from the council which uh, effectively it resigns his position as a library board president. So at this time we'd like to take nominations for a new president for the library board. I would like to nominate uh, Mr. Brian Ahern. I'll second that. Any other discussion? Roll call, please. Gilbert? Yes. Franklin? Yes. Hicks? Yes. Ahern? I go upstream. <laughs> <laughs> Sebo? Yes. Morrill? Yes. Streller? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. The meeting is now yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that you have to continue. <laughs> Do you want me to continue? Yeah. Okay. Item number two is the consent agenda. You've had time to look at those. If there's any that need to um, be discussed, <coughs> move to approve as presented. Second. Roll call, please. Gilbreth? Yes. Franklin? Yes. Hicks? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Seabell? Yes. Morrill? Yes. Striller? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Item number five comments from those assembled. Do we have any comments from the people assembled here tonight? Moving on to item number six, presentation of the oral quarterly report on the library usage and statistics on the Perry Carnegie Library by Pam Rigg, the head librarian. Pam? Yay! Hey! It's a perfect night, less than one page. That's right. <laughs> so the Progress Club copy is Wednesday, April 18th from 9.30 to 11. The Progress Club is a wonderful group of ladies who support our library. The Progress Club has been very successful in their fundraising and have donated a large chunk of money for the carpeting upstairs, a new television, along with many other things since I have been the library director. Progress Club has agreed to paint the interior of the library upstairs, the entryways of the 7th Street staircase. The project can begin since the uh, city prepared or had the library roof prepared. This is wonderful news. That was last painted in 1991 with the remodel and the addition. So the paint is just tired. <coughs> So this makes me so happy. We used our state aid money to purchase new computers. Computers for the staff and public were purchased. Each year the amount of state aid is reduced to libraries, so it is nice to know that many of our computers have been replaced while funding allows. This is a win-win situation because our old computers will be re redistributed to other city departments. Joel Hall and Hugh Merrill will begin the installation soon. April 26th, we will be showing a simply wonderful movie about a boy with facial deformities who begins public school. The movie is at 10 a.m. and we pop the corn and the guests bring a drink. We will sh be showing the movie again during the summer for the younger crowd. Katie Carmack, the children's librarian, is busy planning summer reading program. The study club donated $500 for Katie to use on summer reading program. Katie purchased all sorts of supplies from Amazon and used the remaining funds to purchase new toys for the children's area. We really appreciate the surprise gift from the study club. Some of the programs include a paper mache craft, an escape room mystery, freezer paper, screen painting, a visit from the Oklahoma City Zoo, and a visit from the Oto Missouri Tribe. So, this is good news. We received two copies of the book, Our Day at the Zoo. It is written and illustrated by staff members of the Metropolitan Library System. Last year, the Metro Library System and the Zoo collaborated on a program that allowed children to check out the book and receive four free vouchers from the Oklahoma City Zoo. The books will be, will be uh, begin circulating May 1st, and the checkout will include four zoo vouchers. So that's wonderful. We are happy to encourage a program that promotes literacy, families, time outdoors, and nature. I'm done. Thank you, Pam. Any questions for Pam? 
Appreciate all your hard work. Thank you. Item seven, is there any new business to be brought before the library board at this time? Item eight, we have a motion to motion adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call, please. Yes, Franklin. Yes. Hicks. Yes. 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 I'd like to call to order the meeting of the Perry Municipal Authority. It is April 16, 2000. Which name? I didn't have them credit. Would you have credit? I will. Uh, it is April 16, 2018, and let's have a roll call. You gotta keep it in my brain over there. <laughs> Coldarn. Gilbreth. Here. Franklin. Here. Hicks. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Here. Seabold. Here. Worrell. Here. Stroller. Here. Johnson. Here. Reverend Ahern, our councilman, would you pray for us tonight? If we can keep this all in line, could just hide, we'd be happy to. <laughs> Heavenly Father, as always, we come to you with great gratitude for the blessings you pour out on all of us personally as well as our community. You know, we're so blessed, Father, to have clean water food, functioning sewer systems, roads, sidewalks to navigate around our community, just to name a few things. I would just love for each one of us to pause for a brief moment just to um, appreciate what we have and what so many people in the world don't have. Yes, Father, we are truly blessed. And I would ask that you would provide the people sitting around the council table tonight the design the desire and wisdom to continue to move our community forward into the future to ensure that our children and grandchildren enjoy these same blessings that we receive each day the water the roads the library the parks the businesses let us all be good listeners tonight and let us participate in healthy debate as needed and most importantly let us give you the praise for all the resources you do pour out to us it is in your name we pray amen amen <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to item one, the consent agenda, which has one item, receive approved minutes of the of PMA of April 2, 2018. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Roll call, please. Gilbreth? Yes. Franklin? Yes. Hicks? Yes. Baker? Yes. Seabolt? Yes. Yes. Sterling? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Item four, Tommy Slow's assembly concerning the PMA this evening. Comments? <coughs> Seeing none, we move to item five, proclamations, commendation, reports, and inquiries by the governing body. Council, staff, any comment for proclamation, commendation, or report? Thank you. We'll move on to item six, new business. Any new business? Seeing none, we move to item seven. Motion is adjourned. Second. Thank you. Gilbert. Yes, Franklin. Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, now called over the regular meeting of the City Council of the City of Perry, Oklahoma, April 16, 2018. <coughs> Roll call, please. Call nine. Gilbert. Here. Franklin. Here. Hicks. Yes. I heard. Here. Seabold. Here. Moral. Here. Stroller. Here. Johnson. Here. And I do declare a forum. Look down to item one. It is a consent agenda. <coughs> items A through K. Any of those you'd like to discuss further, uh, give me a motion. If not, as presented. Number 19 for discussion. Which one? 19. There's no 19. For the city minutes. Oh, you want to go with the city minutes? Yes. Okay. Which I, Was that A, B, C, or what? It's A. Okay. We have a, anyone else need an item discussed? Okay, can we approve it from B through K? So moved. Have a motion. Second. That's it. B through K. Roll call, please. Gilbreth? Yes. Franklin? Yes. Hicks? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Seville? Yes. Long? Yes. Stroller? Yes. Johnson? Yes. And with item 19? We move item 19 and we're taking action pursuant to the executive session. It, it reflects the quorum, but does not reflect the uh, uh, authority in the discussion, the description. So at number 19, I really need you to add 
deferring on the matter pertaining to the uh, yeah, economic development of the city of Prairie and discuss business proposal. Okay, let me uh, get to you. Yeah, the, the, the second one. Yeah. Or was it listed? No, it said I think it was listed up here. Okay, because I'm totally lost on how Earl, look at 17. Is it under 17? Under 17, we were going to just have an executive session for two different purposes. Right. Under 19, it lists the first purpose, which we took no action on. And then we took action on the second purpose, but I think it needs to be listed in 19. Oh, okay. And I copied it straight off the agenda. Yes, Okay, so the, the title itself of that needs to be changed to add second item from 17. Okay. If you read 19 by itself, just by itself, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Yes, because it talks about the hospital, and, but it and talks it about, it. yeah, yeah, that needs to be corrected. Yeah, that, Thank you. So that the item about the hospital talks about the action for the hospital, that the action about the economic development project contains the action for that item. Right. Correct. Okay. Thank you. I have a motion to accept item A with the amendment. So moved. Second. 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 Off, please. Gilbert. Yes, Franklin. Yes. Hicks. Yes. Baker. Yes. Seabolt. Yes. Warren. Yes. Stroller. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Thank you, Earl. Appreciate that. All right. Item four comments from those assembled. Any comments concerning? What do we got over here? <coughs> We're ganging up on you now. Yeah. Hi. Introduce yourself, please. Kayla Shrum, Director of Main Street of Perry. And I would like to point out to Tyson that I spit out my gum right before I came up here. Um, I've done it for the Prairie Live. I keep forgetting for the City Council, but I've done it, Tyson. But then also on that note, a huge thanks to Tyson for like a nice big things publicly for what Tyson does do. Um, he's just a great asset and a resource to have that I know I can call. Or um, he's done a lot of accommodating. And if you haven't checked out the Perry Live, um, you need to. It's a Get, stay up to date on what's going down in downtown and <coughs> so I encourage everyone to um, go to Facebook and flip this town and check it out um, and then following that uh, the Malton family the Malton foundation has um, decided to grant us with the funds to um, continue Ron's contract here for another year so he will be here for another year and we're excited about that. There's, it, this is just an exciting time in general in downtown Perry. And so there's a lot of new things happening. We're still working on other changes. And um, it's really exciting. The Mingle on Mains this year, we, whenever walking around the square, it's easy to just assume you know, the courtyard and that, and that area because it's, it's beautiful. But um, sometimes walking around it and looking at some of the underutilized areas. And one of those is the east side of the square. Um, kind of by Wally Schiffers and so there's been discussions and um, how maybe we can utilize that underutilized space and um, and then so our first Mingle on Main is May 24th it's on a Thursday because that's Memorial Weekend so that will be our kickoff and then this Friday this Friday yeah it's our golf tournament I think 20th and then 21st is the cleanup day um, but our golf tournament, we're still accepting teams. We only have eight teams, so if anyone would like to put together a team, then come golf. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. Um, but, and then, Friday's also the deadline. <coughs> the 20th is the deadline. If you want to RSVP and go to the Oklahoma Main Street Awards, it's a great opportunity to learn about Main Street, learn about the organization, what we do, and then how other towns across Oklahoma are using the resources by Main Street. And so you learn a lot, it's, it's fun. And so that's still open, the tickets are 45. And so just get with me and um, I'll RSVP. It's May 8th, um, it's the actual banquet. So I think 
that's it. Other than, I mean, things are just exciting right now. So. Kayla, is Ron going to be here about the same amount of time over the year? I mean, like two or three days of the year? Yes. Or? Yep. Usually, usually he's in town Wednesday through Friday. Okay. So if there's ever a time that um, anyone here would like to contact him, um, it should still be that same time. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Next, introduce yes. yourself, please. Uh, Noelle Black, I'm the president of the Chamber of Commerce here in Perry. Um, I put everybody a flyer for um, our Springfest and Hops Car Truck and Motorcycle Show. Um, I just wanted to inform everyone that this is coming up on April 28th. And new this year, we've partnered with uh, Bant Chevrolet, and they are going to host us for pre-registration out at the dealership. But then also, they're playing a drive-in movie. And so we'll still have the cruise that we have on Friday evening, and then after the cruise at dusk, we'll be playing um, a big movie out at the dealership. And so um, I've been working with um, Ronnie and Casey Wilson um, and other car enthusiasts to go around to area car clubs and invite them to come. And we think that by hosting a movie and providing a few more things for them to do Friday evening, um, we're hoping that they'll pack up their families and stay the night. So we also are working with Microtel Inn and Suites to provide discounted rates for uh, people coming into the community. And then hopefully they'll come Friday evening, stay, and then they'll attend our Spring Fest and Hops Car Truck and Motorcycle Show on Saturday. That show is, um, registration is from 8 to 11, and then the car show is 9 to 2, and we'll do awards afterwards. And we have, um, we had cut awards in the past for several years, and uh, finally got to the point where we reached out to uh, car show people, and we have 21 classes this year. So it's a lot bigger category for these car shows. And, or for the cars to come for the car show and we think that that's really going to increase attendance for this and then we also have Gary McNabb has a group of gentlemen that are putting uh, tearing apart and putting together a Model T um, timed and so we have a lot of fun things coming up that Saturday I know the community is really busy that day we've got a lot of really great things for people to attend and see and we hope everybody comes out to the car show thank you so much can I thank add you, something Noah. little Yes, yes. I forgot. Um, remind, remind me whenever Noel got up there. But I really appreciate the efforts that we've been putting in with Larry to um, have better communication and work together a lot more. And that's been really exciting. So I just really appreciate that. And I think it's just another added exciting positive thing. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to have you ladies represent your, your entities. We've, we've asked them to join our uh, management team meeting that we have every other Tuesday. Tuesday after uh, we have a meeting here and uh, it's really helped I think we want to make certain that everybody's on the same page yes. we have a lot of stuff going on we want to make certain that they know what we're doing and we know what they're doing just that simple communication and I think it's already made a huge difference right. a lot of connections cool. right. <laughs> all right can we move forward now to item five proclamations commendations reports and inquiries of the governing body Seeing none, we'll move on to the city manager's report and monthly project update. Thank you, Mayor. Um, we've replaced the, uh, or restored rather, the fishing dock at, at Perry Lake. This is a collaborative effort between parks and streets. I really like when our, our different departments work together uh, for the betterment of the city, make it look better. So I really appreciate their efforts there. Um, on fur, you'll notice some flashing LED. Uh, Crosswalk signs, we put six up. I appreciate that from um, Sam Harmon and, and Streets. Um, he took the idea and ran with it. We do have um, some others that we're going to be putting up uh, a little bit closer to the beginning of the fiscal year. We'll start that, uh, get those up as soon as possible. So I think everybody's excited about those. Um, you, you notice them. Mm -hmm. is, the state in, is the state involved with that? Means it's a state highway. Do we have to get approval from them. We did get approval, and they uh, suggested that they, it was fine with them, and they would be happy to help put us up. I mean, to put these signs up. And, uh, cool. So it, it was a collaborative effort again, and that's what we really like to do: is make certain that don't step on anybody's toes. That's what we like to do: is work work together. So, any questions on the report? Tyson did a great job while I was gone. Tyson, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. 
Thank you, Mayor. Yes, thank you, Larry. Our next item will be our financial report. Mr. Meek. Well, since Bryce took all my time tonight by going to hold court. <laughs> I want to keep mine short and sweet, guys. There's not really a whole lot um, going on as, as far as expenditures go. <laughs> the, just a couple of things that I need to point out to you. If you look at the financials, um, the second page, um, budget versus actuals, you know, we should be about 75%. Um, you know, gosh, I can't believe that we're already met with unions today and we're already talking, you know, budgets for next year and getting those things in place, health insurance, you know, all the <coughs> wonderful things that you guys love hearing, utility rate increases. Oh, I didn't say that one. No, you did not. No, you did not. No, you did not. <laughs> all right. Hey, Ken, help. Brian's out there wanting more vehicles every time oh, I see him. So, you know, I need, I need a little help here to, to be able to say no. Brian, you heard no from the table tonight. Um, <laughs> Bottom line, a couple of things just to point out um, in, in this financial. Uh, sales tax um, for the month, right, you see these dollars, we're, we're at 85%, so we're about 10% <coughs> over what we had budgeted, which is, is really kind of how we budget, you know I mean? I, I try to stay conservative on those revenues. Um, the month of April itself was 3% over last year's April numbers. So, you know, that, that's a good piece for us um, as far as total sales tax dollars coming in. There's not really any expenses. Um, there is, on the other revenue piece that, that I do want to draw your attention to, uh, we always list those hotel motel taxes. Guys, that $9,000 was the lowest sales tax, or hotel motel tax collection we've had um, since we went, um, since we increased our overall hotel motel tax. Um, and I don't have a direct explanation. It, it's not for misreporting and it, or for lack of numbers reporting. It, it's I think volume down um, that's going on. So we we hope to see that number um, come back up, uh, especially in the near future. Related to the um, Perry Municipal Authority, um, everything's pretty much in line um, with, with what we would expect at this point. Um, there'll be a couple of small uh, budget amendments that need to come through. Um, at the end of the year, but they're all items you guys have already approved and pushed through. So um, I'm not too worried about anything that's in there. Do you all have any questions? Anything that I can address for you or make clear? Okay. I was going to let Bryce talk, but I passed on. Thank you. We'll move on to item eight. Item 8, conduct public hearing on sudden link communications proposal for an extension of the cable license. Include receiving comments from the public and making determinations on, one, whether the cable operator has provided satisfactory service during the past license term. Two, whether the cable operator has complied with the terms of the existing license and laws. Three, whether the cable operator has a financial, legal, and technical qualification to operate the cable system. Four, what are the future cable related needs and interests of the residents of the city of Perry? Uh, Ray McCra McCraney is here tonight to answer any questions and provide some comments. Yeah, I really don't have anything prepared. I just, I wanted to be available. Um, I mean, most of you know about the upgrade we did here before last. Um, we increased the speeds to 150 meg. Uh, somebody said something to me about an issue that we have been having. Um, so I'm going to address that right off the bat. We, we've had a, and it's not just been Perry, it's been Perry, Stillwater, Enid, Muskogee. We've had a, a circuit issue out of Oklahoma City that affects local channels. And some of those times we've had to go uh, to back to old-fashioned antenna. We think we have the, or the engineers got the circuit fixed this weekend before last. So that's really the only negative thing that what I... What is the doing. complication that that causes? <clears throat> what it, is that well, the distortion that we see? What, what this was doing is was causing tiling on the local channels. And basically we had two servers sitting in Oklahoma City that feed both sides of the state. So it comes 
Enid to Perry, Stillwater, Muskogee, Tulsa, but then it goes back around. Well, those two servers didn't have enough bandwidth to talk to each other. That's what the engineers finally figured out. So once they opened up like a 10 meg circuit between those, it it went away. But yeah, it would come. And it would only happen at <coughs> night. Of course, that's when your bandwidth usage goes sky high because that's when people get on. Well, I, I don't know what tiling means, but is that... Yeah. Like a pixelating. Yeah. Um, you know, a freezing, the pixelating, and it is just bandwidth. You know, like rewinding. It would back cause it, it to. It, it backs up a couple of seconds. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it could do that. It could be manifesting. It that. That's what we yes. too, Bill. Yeah. I it was just me. <laughs> That's the only problem that I've had, and, and Betty's not here with us tonight. But I texted her and said that he's here. <laughs> <laughs> And she said, I still have bad services. <laughs> so, but anyway, I mean, I, I, I recall in the very recent past that that was a, a problem. Yeah, and it, and it was for the whole state until our engineers figured it out. Uh, the only other problem that, that I've had with, with you all is that uh, she just texted me. She must be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna start texting questions. Yeah, uh, that's okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, is is it, it's been six or eight months ago we had one of your servers text in our house. I don't even know his name. Okay. But rather than come in and, and do the service, uh, my wife was there, so she had to deal with it. But and I appreciate it. Uh, he spent more time trying to sell us services right. than he did fixing the problem. And, and they shouldn't do that. They're and, there. And I had a problem with that. They're there to fix the problem. Yeah. Do you know? You don't know the I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do okay. you remember the date? No. Well, my my issues with it have been what Bill was talking to. I thought it was that. I thought it was buffering. Let it, uh, yeah, I mean, it would be similar to that. And, and, and I'll, leave, I'll leave everybody here a card, and if, if you see it, do it. Call me, email me, text me. and Because that's been the problem. It's been, when it was doing it before, it would be very intermittent, and we only do it when your, your bandwidth usage was high. So we want to catch it doing it. But hopefully, it's, we think that Glad to know y'all fixed it. I thought it was my brain going back. No, no, it wasn't you. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't you. And I don't know whether it does it during the day or not, I'm, I'm, but I'm never home during the day, so. It, it, it never has, we haven't seen it during the day because it's a, it's a bandwidth saturation issue and your bandwidth usage during the day is not that heavy. I might say something if I could. Sure. That's not the only problem suddenly my daughter's on a different one and I'm on a different one and that same thing's happening with them so it must have been affecting all the lines where, yeah, where where it's kind of like the picture would jiggle or kind of it looked like it was layered like it was cut to and trying mm -hmm. to slide right. over each right. other uh, my um, uh, daughter has I think direct TV and remember but anyway there's two other different companies that I've seen doing the same thing, yeah, doing the same thing. she just texted me and said it was doing it right now as she was, she's watching this on TV she's watching us mm -hmm. oh. that's Tyson's fault <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's not out of Oklahoma City so that wouldn't be related <laughs> what a dress is she at <laughs> She's on, what is that, Quill Creek? Yeah, she's on yeah. Quill Creek. Creek. What, what's her name? Betty Warner. Give him her phone number, too. <laughs> 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 you <laughs> you graduated. <laughs> Betty, you want me to give him your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, So, in in 
the report I read and all the other mm -hmm. stuff that was in there, uh, there was a survey that was taken, and that was March of 2018. Is that correct? Good. Have you read that? Didn't was it a survey by a survey of our local? Oh, okay. No, folks. was not aware of that. It's in the end back. back we will over. provide that. Mm, yeah, we will provide that to okay. okay. So you, you have not seen it? No. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to mm -hmm. send him a copy of that. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because the public has spoken through that survey, and that's probably the quickest way for you to evaluate okay. uh, the feelings that are out there. 54% of the people on an average just. Yeah. Um, all of 54 percent of them said <coughs> everything was fine. The other 54 percent said no. So, okay. yeah, well, I mean, I'd love to see it. So it was March of 2018. I believe it was wasn't it March of 2018 yes. that was done. Yes. Okay. Tyson did it. We hired a survey company to just set out some questions. We'll okay. come up. Okay. I mean, it's got some good input. Yeah, and yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it'd be, it'd be good feedback. Yeah, being so we don't have a large amount of public here for the session, right. that, oh, okay. that would be a good way for you to check it out. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, we did have Tyson and Sharon go through our our licensing mm -hmm. ordinance and check and see whether there's compl compliance and I think you know we can say that there's you know general compliance with mm -hmm. the terms and conditions of our licensing ordinance so that's one of the things we're supposed to do here and, and we did do that and and so you know the purpose is just to have a hearing <coughs> we had the other hearing one person showed up uh, but we're supposed to do it as a part of the 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 request for renewal right. so that's why we're here. And we, I mean, we've certainly got, if there are any, I mean, we can take a look at this and we've certainly got time before the franchise, yeah. to, you know, to address anything. Yeah, there's a, there's a few things about uh, service. Uh, uh, where the service is available. I mean, we're getting more and more activity out in our industrial park, or right. out in our commercial park. There's interest there. There's some, there's some peg questions that I know Tyson wants to go over, perhaps some extensions there that we'd like to talk to you about. But, okay. you know, I think we recognize of the plight the cable is in. It's, you know, it's now facing, you know, a lot of competition and, and, uh, and uh, <clears throat> but we'd sure like to get five percent of that internet, you know, because that's where everything's going. Right. I guess I right. guess that's never going to happen, is it? Right. I mean, I mean, any kind of licensing. For, well, you go to the seminars. I mean, yeah. Or all that. I mean, I don't see any movement afoot. Uh, is there any movement afoot? I don't really see any. I mean, yeah. Because that would be nice. Yeah, but the FCC has spoken. Yeah. What, what what do you see the movement? I mean, do you see cable becoming less and less uh, as folks are streaming content? Or I mean, yeah, I, th I think that, that the way people get tele well, and it's already changing. But I think in five years we will probably. Hear be totally different than the way it is now. I mean, everything is, everything is, you know, bandwidth related. And, you know, the, the networks are scrambling. I mean, that's why you see all the networks going to these internet-based streaming services, because they know that's where it's going. So, yeah. Do, do you have numbers as far as revenue? Does your, does your internet side pick up more now than your cable side? Yes. So it is a bigger piece. Yes. You know, that's what I would assume. Well, because you, you have the network costs that are astronomical. Right. 
on, on the TV side. Right. So the net on the TV side is right. Is, is less than right. <clears throat> I mean, you, you with with the the internet, you have your your engineering, your backbone, your circuit cost, which are expensive, but not like the the programming cost on. Right. Thank you. Absolutely. And, and if you have any questions or anything comes up, you know where to get in touch with you. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there is anybody here, but if there is anybody here that would like to speak on this, this is a public yeah. hearing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Anyone? Okay. Would you? Oh, we have a personal one. <coughs> Please yeah. let him have the podium. Yeah. TV go off for, <coughs> for like three days in a row. TV should not go off. It, if, if it's if you're having that kind of problem, we, you need to call. We need to get somebody out. Should not. We would never allow an outage to be out for three days. <laughs> well, we finally called over here when the machine came and ten seconds he had it back on. Okay. If it goes out and it's out over mm -hmm. forty-five minutes, call us. Well, this is a Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Call us. Al. Al. Al, just to introduce yourself so we have a recording. Al Wise. He's here. Uh, Come. Live at the Lodge. Uh, I moved here three years ago because of all the great people I have in Perry. And, uh, Man, I'm staying here. <laughs> Thanks, Al. Uh, Al's better half, Laverne, is a member of the Lions. That's, that's where I know the family. Anyone else? Comments? You good, Bryce? Yes. Okay. We'll move on then. I will thank you. Absolutely. Any, any questions? I'll leave you. Uh, Stack of cards ready. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Um, item 12 is to vote for two candidates for trustee. No, you're at nine. Oh, oh, nine. Thank you. I'm trying to get through this, <laughs> Mr. City Manager. Uh, item nine, which ought to take a while. <laughs> Consider approval of City Council procedure book. I hope you did look through that. It's got some very very pertinent information concerning us. Any questions concerning, please uh, feel free to ask them and us discuss it. But, uh, you know, the first, uh, it does talk about us and our responsibilities and our role. Uh, and it's, I think it's very clear and concise. Is there any questions, comments, or you want to direct toward Brasser or the city manager or myself? What, what did you think of our stability test results? I thought they were pretty good. Well, they are. What? 79.5%? I thought that was... Now, that, that's stability in relation to what? Well, that survey that we took. We took. Yeah. They, 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 took, they took everybody's everybody's numbers and, and gave us a composite score. Okay. And I believe that is higher than, than what the average, well, wasn't it Russ? You're a numbers guy. Yeah. It's higher yeah. than the average, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So. We're better than the average. What? We're better than the average. Well, I know, I know. <laughs> and, and it's reflected, it's reflected there. Now this is a good benchmark for next year. We'll do this again next year. Yeah, the only thing I, I have issue with is we we still need to plan and proceed with a strategic planning meeting. Well, we need to set that up. We haven't yeah. had one. Yeah, no. we do. Well, when are we going to do that? Let's uh, put it together. The last one we attempted was in the fall. Yep. <coughs> well, let's put that on the next agenda and I talk about the time we need on the next yep. agenda. I mm -hmm. agree. Two great. years That's ago, well. I agree. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's time. Okay. Very good. Any other any other comments about the procedures, man? Any 
anything you like or dislike about it? It's far too wordy. <laughs> oh yeah. And Bryce is innocent. I did write it. It was that it was that city attorney from the other side. <laughs> that that question was posted. To, you know, who did write this? Yeah. Well, he's a break guy. Hmm? He's a break guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure he is. Every time you think it's too wordy, that's covering another part of it. All those bright guys the talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Verbose is that term that comes to mind. We need to approve the city procedure book if you... If you Motion will. to approve. Second. Second. Thank Third. you. <laughs> Roll call, Dixie. Kilbreth. Yes. Franklin. Yes. Hicks. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Seabell. Yes. Morrill. Yes. Strohler. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Uh, we have a presentation of the City of Perry, City of Perry Grade Separation Feasibility Study. Uh, we, as a council, uh, asked for a feasibility study for a crossing grade separation of fur and the railroad <coughs> or another location. We hired Melberger Brawley to complete that. Uh, they submitted this one uh, to us. We, uh, Larry and I took it to Hodot and uh, they're looking over it so uh, based on what they come back with in comments will be uh, the further request of this firm to maybe do more work based on the request of ODA. Uh, so uh, one I think their, their uh, construction estimates were low. Uh, the design uh, was adequate but uh, Based on some work that we had done years ago, I think it could, that design could be improved to, to shorten the length of the project. Uh, so we, we need further discussion on this, and so I'm not submitting it for your approval. I'm submitting it for you uh, to let you know where it is, and if you want to take any action and direct me to do something or do direct Larry to do something, then that's up to you. But, uh, I just wanted you to know it had been submitted, it has been accepted, it is not, in my opinion, complete. So one versus two, recommendation one, or, or design one versus design two, uh, those were both submitted in, in that report as yes. is? Yes. Okay. And there's uh, two options on the first street crossing. Of on the top of buck grade crossing would have and then there's one to the south of town which in our opinion does not serve the community at all really yep. it does not eliminate the problem we have with at fur with the railroad crossing mm -hmm. on, on the to alternative number one what does the mes represent the mes that was distinguishing between the two I think. oh mes wall the wall one is a concrete soil reinforced wall okay. that just goes straight up and that's the type of uh, that's the type of construction we're looking at it takes far less right away and uh, to build an embankment as high as we will need to get across those tracks uh, you're looking at assessing that or at least the same amount and not have to buy so much right away or relocate some many utilities so that's it's one of the reasons I favor it. Yeah, if, if we build the MES wall, will that provide, will there still be access to the biz businesses on the side? We're looking at options good? in that too. That, that's something we discussed today as, as to how we could provide some of that. <coughs> that was not addressed in this plan. Yeah, and that's what I was, right. I was because it was talking about full yeah. width, wider right of way in the whole yeah. nine yards. It didn't, it didn't, we don't have a drawing. Larry brought a picture to give you an idea of what we're looking at as far as where it's going to be and the height of it and everything. You want to show them that? Just hold it up and sling it. I just asked that whoever has a relationship with ODOT, and, and I'm assuming it's you, Gordon, and, and Larry, that we keep pushing this thing along. Mm -hmm. yeah, because yeah. we've spent quite a bit of money doing this engineering. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that'll fall by the wayside. But uh, you can see from the drawing down there, this is highly exaggerated. The vertical on this is 10 feet, the horizontal one inch is 100 feet, so it's greatly exaggerated. But it gives you an idea 
that would be coming up and over the railroad tracks. And uh, we do not want to build with a big dirt embankment because you can see the if you can see the purple here, that would all have to be removed or couldn't be used anymore. With MES wall, we can do some other options that we can't do with a dirt embankment. But as we get uh, a little bit more clarity from ODOT, and we'd like to bring a representative from the uh, engineering firm and have them make a presentation. We don't want to get into it too much, too much tonight, but just that we do have the study. Yeah. I'm excited about the fact we have the study. That's some that's movement that we haven't had, so that's wonderful. It's cool. Uh, I just if I can get this thing on an eight-year program with ODOT, then uh, the construction will happen, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, hopefully we can. Uh, lobby them hard enough that it can happen a little earlier than eight years out. But the way the budget's running with state government, you know, if you're on the eight-year program, you may be ten years out. But still, we got to get on that program. We got to have a project. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask uh, certain members of the community uh, that uh, to write letters to ODOT. Uh, asking for this this project to happen and supporting this project and uh, supporting the study and I'll be in touch with those as soon as I get a definitive direction from ODA. That's that report. Any action we need to take? Just keep after it. We'll do that one. Yes sir. So yeah, Adam, I did have a good talk with uh, yeah. uh, the division engineer at ODOT. And very positive. Yeah. Cool. He didn't say no. <laughs> very positive. <laughs> Bring me more stuff. Uh, so that makes item 11. We'll table that. Reason being, we're not through. And item 12, vote for two candidates for trustee of the Oklahoma Municipal Assurance Group. Currently, Mr. Meacham is serving on that. I assume he will come in. Hmm. He, he, said, he, said yes. he did say yes. Okay. So I heard yes. Do we have yeah. another candidate that we want to bring forward? Any hmm. council member would like to serve on that? No, it's, it's, it's the yeah. No, we only have that one. But he, he was our nominee when we did, we did a, a meeting back in February, we did the nomination. Yes. And that's all, the other one we nominated was Russ. We okay. cannot nominate anymore now. Nomination okay. is bad. Well then vote on it. But there's a whole list we could choose to vote on. We can choose to vote. So we need right to, here. we need we to go with We need to vote with Russ. That's really, that's right here. Let's see if any of you can see. Nine people on the list. Let's go back to the list. Oh, we have to vote on one from the list. Not yeah, there's the ba there's a ballot. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. I forgot. I've done this how many times now? I don't know. <laughs> Five. All what right. about that Jason guy from Clinton? Jason Hewlin's a nice guy. And the other, just I'll I'll just speak the ones that I know. And Mike Bailey um, from Barlesville, the two that I that I've worked with. I would move that we vote for Russ Meacham and Mike Bailey. Second. Motion and a second. Any comments? Anybody want to vote for their cousin on here? Okay. Roll call, Dixie. Cobra? Yes. Franklin? Yes. Hicks? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Siegel? Yes. Morrill? Yes. Strother? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Sorry, Dixie. I forgot that procedure. Apologize, Council. Okay, we are now on item 13. Consider approval of payment of an invoice in the amount of $5,637.22 to MKEC Engineering for engineering services on two, uh, on the 2018 street improvements. They did design, bidding, cost, uh, pre-construction, inspection, Grove Street, East Boundary, Jackson's, 12th and Birch Utility Coordination, Gas, 8th 
TNT and the North 7th Street drainage. When you look in the back, you'll see their outline or, or, or invoice that they sent describing the work. Do I have a motion or do I have questions or comments? Motion to approve the invoice in the amount of 563722 to MKE Engineering for Engineering Services. Second. We have a second. That's in PC. Roll call, Dixon. Gilbert. Yes. Franklin. Yes. Hicks. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Seabelt. Yes. Moore. Yes. Stroller. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Um. Item 14, consider appointment of three trustees to the Perry Memorial Hospital Authority. Position 4, nominate from Ward 1, and I'd like to nominate Bill Streller. Position 8, nominate PH, uh, PMH trustee and appointed by City Council Johnny Fulk. I do nominate him. Position 9, nominate by PMH trustee and appointed by the City Council Dr. Martin Roth. I do nominate him. Any questions? Yes, the position number four should be nominated by Ward One. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I would nominate Bill Striller. Thank you. Do we have a second on that? Second. Do we have a second on the others? Second. Roll call. Gilbert. Yes. Franklin. Yes. Hicks. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Seabolt. Yes. Moore. Yes. Striller. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Number 15, new business. We have item 16. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and section. Any comments? Discussion? Roll call. Gilbert? Yes. Franklin? Yes. Hicks? No objections. Yes. Seabolt? Yes. Moral? Yes. Stroller? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah.